Take germs, for example. In the 18th century, there was no such thing. Nada. Nothing. No one even ever imagined such a thing. Then along comes this doctor, Semmelweis. He starts trying to tell everybody that there's these teeny, tiny, little, invisible, bad things called germs that get up inside your body and make you sick. Oh, who is this guy? What is he, crazy? Teeny, tiny, invisible, what? Germs? Now, I want you to flash forward to about a week ago. I'm in this burger joint and I'm ordering a sandwich. The guy behind the counter, he drops my burger on the floor and he picks it up and dusts it off and he tries to hand it to me like it's all okay. What about germs, I say? He says, and get this, I don't believe in germs. Germs is just a conspiracy made up by the government to try to sell hand soaps and disinfectants. Now this guy must be crazy, right? Wrong. Wrong. There is no right. There is no wrong. There is only popular opinion. Now you want to get out of here, right? That's very sane. Very, very sane. That's good. Now, I know what you're thinking. If I can get out of here, then why don't I just escape? That's a very intelligent thought. That's very smart of you. Because if I tried to escape, then that would make me crazy. But don't worry about me. I'm all taken care of. I have sent out word to certain underlings and evil spirits that are going to contact my father. And when my father finds out that I'm in a place like this, he's gonna have me transferred to one of those classy upscale joints where they treat you like a person, like a guest. My father's gonna be really upset when he finds out I'm in this place. And when my father gets upset, the ground shakes. My father is God. I worship my father.